and welcome to my channel Sweeter Lifestyle. Today I want to look at the health principle of rest. Now when I say rest, I don't mean relaxation only. In fact, let me be specific, I'm talking about sleep. We need between six and nine hours of sleep every night. People who get less than six hours or more than nine hours tend to live shorter lives than people who sleep seven to eight hours, which seems to be about the sweet spot for having the right amount of hours for sleep. I've also learned that women suffer from insomnia seven to eight times more than men. Insomnia is defined as having a difficult time falling off to sleep, even if you're tired, or not being able to stay asleep throughout the entire course of the night. The result is not feeling rested and refreshed on awaking. For me, I have to admit that I have a bit of an insomnia problem, or I should say I had a bit of an insomnia problem, and realized that I needed to remedy the situation. By the way, not getting enough restful sleep does not aid in weight loss, but rather it inhibits weight loss. And I, I want to lose weight. My insomnia is compounded or brought on probably by the problem of me having to use a BiPAP machine at night. Because I don't take in the amount of oxygen I need on my own at nighttime, when muscles are more relaxed, the problem is obviously heightened. The BiPAP machine allows me to hook up my oxygen hose to the machine and it helps me to breathe and sometimes it breathes for me so that my oxygen levels remain safe. It does one more thing as well. It pushes out the carbon dioxide created by the respiratory process as with relaxed muscles, I can push it out effectively. So I often fall asleep fine, though I can be too tired to fall asleep, but that's not very often. And sometimes the machines, the machine gets in the way. I have to put my hair up in a bun at the top of my head so that putting on the, the mask and the headdress um, doesn't affect me at too much and it will stay on my head. I often have my hair flat ironed for that reason because then it's flatter on my head. But um, with COVID-19, I have not been able to get to the hairdresser. So um, to have that done. So then, you know, I do have that um, problem. When I wake for a trip to the bathroom, I can sometimes stay awake when I come back and I'm watching the seconds, the minutes and the hours go by. And then when I do fall off to sleep and I wake up, I find that my day is a fuzzy blur and I'm dozy all day long. And I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? Is there something that I could do to fix this? And I decided to check myself out and I realized that for one thing, I was actually going to bed too late. It's recommended that we should be in bed and asleep by 10 p.m. for the latest. Yes, I know that's early, but the body needs those hours, especially between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. to renew and regenerate itself. And I was not doing that. Then before I get into, I have to have a, a, a bedtime routine and I wasn't doing that either. So just before I'm ready to really go into bed, like maybe an hour or so, um, I should be winding down and therefore I should not be um, looking at media, WhatsApp, news, that sort of thing, which sort of like keeps your mind excited, but rather um, I, I wanted, I had started moving away from that and, you know, reading my Bible and um, praying and um, listening to uplifting music, um, which calms me to, to help myself in that area as well. I would not be eating any food after 6 p.m. And that has been something that is not always easy to do, but I am trying because, you know, it depends on your day. Sometimes you do go a little bit later than 6 o'clock. Um, but, you know, I am trying. So therefore, because of all of those things, my sleep time was very erratic or could have been, could be very erratic. And I've made a decision to really make the appropriate changes for me 
I also try to be well hydrated during the day. Um, I also am doing my rebounder so that I have um, expend that energy and have the exercise thing going on. And I try to eat, of course, nutritious foods during the day as well. And so I sometimes also use a product called Natural Calm to help with my magnesium intake and which helps in inducing sleep. If I'm overtired and finding it particularly hard to fall off to sleep, I also use another thing which is um, lavender essential oil. And what I would do is I put the essential oil on my pulse points and I rub it in. So that would be on my wrists, my temples, and also right at the back of my ear here. And sometimes I even put it on, on, the, on the soles of my feet. This is amazing for me and I'm serious. This lavender essential oil, it calms me and soothes me immediately it seems. And I am able to fall off to sleep. I often drink peppermint tea, which helps me with my breathing and the warmth is also calming. So my preference is using the actual, I guess you call that leaves. And um, I would of course steep it in, a, in, a, in my mug. I, I like this mug. This is my favorite mug for steeping tea because it has the strainer built in. So I put my hot water in here and I put about, I would say two teaspoons. I like it strong because it really helps me when I have it strong. Two teaspoons of peppermint um, leaves in here. And I steep it for between seven to 10 minutes. The thing with this mug is, um, even though I let it steep for that long, once I take this out and I, and I toss the leaves out and I you know, may or may not add a little bit of sweetener, um, which would either be honey or stevia, which would be optimum. Um, it still keeps it warm so that when I am ready to drink it, and as I, you know, just as I'm getting ready for bed, I will drink it and stuff. If I'm reading, for instance, um, it stays nice and warm and it's really good. Then another thing that I do, because again, I'm using this mask at night, it's, it's a very um, uncomfortable thing to begin with, yes, but also it sort of dries out my throat and anybody who is on oxygen like I am, I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, and so in the nighttime, I have to have my water ready at my bedside. So I would drink, um, I have the water ready. I, we use um, reverse osmosis water and I drink this and it helps to make me not be so, my throat be so dry and it's, it, you know, it can be really uncomfortable. So anyways, I have my water as well. I'm finding that these changes are having a good effect. It'll take a while, I know, to really get it um, to the point where I am having a much better time getting off to sleep and staying asleep, but it, it's helping. Um, but you see, it's, it's good to have a plan. And I have a plan and I have all my go-to aids um, that can help. I'm actually also looking for a diffuser because I'm thinking maybe it would be a good idea to diffuse this into the air. Maybe not all the time, but once in a while, because I'm not sure I would like to have this in the air all the time, but once in a while. And so if any of you has um, a good diffuser that you could recommend to me, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, so thank you so much for keeping up with me and um, seeing how my life is going. And um, this was a little bit of a different video than normal but you know thanks for staying till the end and see you next time